So we've come to Torpo, uh, oh, 100 and some k's from Napier, and Spa Thermal Park is where we are. It's a whole recreation place, biking trails and walking trails and things, but um, apparently there's a hot river down here. We'll go and check it out. So it's like middle of winter and we've put our bathers on. And it's also sprinkling a little bit, so it better be warm when we get down there. That was so warm. We've been in there for like two hours, sufficiently wrinkly, and it's really hard to get out. And now we've got to make the mad dash back to the back to the cart. Ooh, and it's freezing. It's freezing out here. It's so warm in there, though. Oh, it's lovely. I'm gonna go so find some more of them as we go along. They are awesome. Sunday 12th of July, uh, we've woken up just outside Torpo, I can't remember the name of this place, Kata, Kata, Hara, Bui or something, and this is a really good free camp, it is right on the, um, on the shore of Lake Torpo, but we can't actually get, you know, straight down to the lake there because of the trees, we'd have to walk up and through the, through the fence, but the, the view coming down was magnificent. It's a massive, massive lake and Torpo is really big. Like there's definitely more people in the North Island. The towns are much, much bigger. Torpo is huge. And the, the town encompasses like three sides of the lake. Uh, but this is a really cool free camp. And the other thing with the North Island is the topography is a lot more severe. There's not as much flatland and even the flatland that there is is not flat I mean have a look at this place it took us a little while to actually find you know flat ground so we could sleep uh, not on a hill so even the the flat ground is still very much undulating and the farmland you know while it might look like a somewhat flat paddock it won't be very large and there'll be like ravines and stuff in there uh, and and the hills are they're not as rolling and smooth. They're really quite jagged and, and severe uh, so far from what we've seen here in the North Island. So it's definitely a different topography and there's definitely a lot more people. But I think it's still got uh, what New Zealand's got to offer. We're still very much enjoying ourselves. It was sunny yesterday and it, we are getting a bit of blue sky now. It's a bit misty this morning. And even though we don't have a view of the lake I had the most magnificent view of a, a double bright rainbow that was just there like you could almost touch it and find the pot of gold at the end of it so it's a really good way to start the morning so we're off to Torpo this morning and we're gonna check out the farmers markets being a Sunday and then we're heading across to Rotorua and we will catch their farmers markets too seeing as it's Sunday and it's still quite early so and there's the drop toilet which was actually really clean and really nice and really bright it just you got to take your own toilet into this one but otherwise we got we got primo spot here next to it and now uh, Ruby should be up and dressed and we'll head into head into town so pretty impressed with the Torpo markets I got some what did I get hot mustard pickle to go with our lamb because we have roast lamb left over from Napier we're eating and Ruby got some fudge I just tried some ginger fudge. Oh, it was deluxe, but uh, she's gone the Russian fudge and I've told her she has to share it. I think she might deny me. Anyway, now we're off to Rotorua and check out their markets.